All right, so today we're here at Pea Point Nature Preserve, owned and run by the company I used to work for, Connor Brothers, here in Blacks Harbor. Just gonna show you whether it's worth it to walk in the wind or not. So here we are at Connor Brothers Nature Preserve here in Pea Point, Blacks Harbor, New Brunswick. Gonna show you whether it's worth it to walk in the wind or not. Now we've walked here several several times now. My wife's not here, she's visiting her parents. We are down to what 13 days to go before we leave for Western Africa. So I figured it doesn't get sunny too often around here lately. So we'll make do with it a little bit. Enjoy the sunshine. I have no idea if you can hear anything I'm saying. I do have a mic on me, but man, it is windy. And it's not that warm either. <laughs> So anyways, we'll see how this works. So as I said, we're 13 days in until we literally fly out. And there is so much to do. It's not even remotely settled at all. Uh, you know, any of us that know people that go on these trips for months or years or whatnot, we have no idea how many little ins and out there is to these things. Uh, every time we get one thing down, we uh, kind of come across another thing and I'm not complaining, it's just the way it is. You know, some government rule that no one knew about because most of us don't travel for extended periods of time. We're aiming to be in Benin, West Africa for seven months, possibly longer, but seven months to start. Our flights are coming back the end of May, as of now. And, uh, yeah, who would know? There's all these different rules that kind of, you know, come into play. Just things you'd never know, right? Like, us Canadians with their Medicare, you got to call numbers and talk to the government about that. And you wait, and they want papers and documents and all that jazz. And then you try to get what they want and then they want something else so they don't like what you gave them or whatnot. And so, and the reason that matters for us Canadians is, at least as far as I know, when we go to book emergency medical coverage, which obviously you need if you're gonna go outside Canada, you'd be crazy not to have that. <clears throat> when you go to book that, if you're Canadian, you've gotta, it's not quite the same as some of the other countries we've got to have proof that our Medicare is still going to cover the base amount. The insurance actually only covers the above and beyond stuff. And so most people assume the insurance covers everything. Well, if you're Canadian, at least best I can tell from researching it, it only covers the above and beyond that your provincial government would pay for. And so that's a problem because you need to prove that you have the first coverage before they'll give you the above and beyond. So then that, that's where the government comes in. You got to kind of make them happy and get the papers they need. So we sent everything in and we have no idea really if it's what they want or if they're happy with it or whatnot. There's no one calling back and so no one answering emails. So we have no idea. <clears throat> but the flight is booked. So <laughs> one way or the other we're flying off the bit in. We may or may not have health coverage, so that's <laughs> just the way it is. And uh, anyways, I'm sure it'll all work out. You might not be able to tell, but the ground is so wet here today. It's, uh, we, we had quite the rainstorm last night. In fact, there's, I think I saw this morning online, there's about 10,000 people without power. Uh, not in our exact area here, but just kind of in New Brunswick as a whole. So, oh no, oh no, that's very bad because I have, I have the kind of shoes that uh, breathe. 
which is great when it's dry. You want your shoe to breathe, but when your foot's in the water, you don't want your shoe to breathe water. That's not so good. And that's what I did. So now we have some soggy shoes. Now, I've never really went this way before, so I'm going to head this way. I used to work with a, a friend named Chris at the fish plant, <clears throat> a real nice guy, and he told me that you could take this path all the way through to Deadman's Harbor. So I'm going to see how far I can go and how wet I can get my feet here. And we'll show you some ocean vistas here in just a little bit. So, yeah, so back to our trip. Our, what we actually know is we have our air flights booked. That's all done. So we're happy about that. We've got a decent rate. We played with them for quite a while. We kind of adjusted that rate back and forth or uh, dates and airports and whatnot. And uh, we kind of waited one day too many. When you're trying to book airline tickets, it's... Uh, I don't know if there's many other things in the world that are more confusing than trying to book air flight tickets and figure out price points and whatnot. It's just uh, its just not the easiest thing ever, that's for sure. And so I was watching, 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 watching. And then uh, I think I'm off the track here now. I think I must have walked the wrong way here. I think so. Anyways, I waited as long as I could, and I think I waited one day too many. I had something set up in my mind, and I wanted to talk to my wife, and it was like two or three in the morning. That's when me personally, that's when I do my best work is in the middle of the night. Not sure about you, but anyways, I wanted to ask her something. And so I waited until the morning. And then uh, when I looked at those flights, once I asked her what I wanted to ask her, and I went to book them, lo and behold, ha, the flights all went up. Every flight, every day, everywhere. So it just goes to show there's not really a, a rhyme or a reason to... Uh, air airfares at all I don't find I think I studied this trip enough to know I would have seen if there's something that made sense I'm sure it makes sense to them but they're worried about making money right not they couldn't care less if you and I are happy so anyways trying to get unstuck here I was I was on the path until I wasn't on the path. So this is what happens when you get stuck in the woods. As you can see, the ocean's not far, so I'm not, not lost per se, but uh, definitely not in a, in a nice path area for sure. There we go, get out of the bushes a little bit. So, interesting vista here. Wow, some nice waves. Nice waves. 